Hi, DIYers. Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about and see how to enroll a PowerG smoke detector to a Qualsys IQ2 system. PowerG devices are great in that they're encrypted when communicating between them and the alarm system that they're talking to. This encryption is going to help prevent anyone from spoofing the device or tricking the system into thinking something is going on that isn't actually occurring. Another big benefit of PowerG devices is the range that they communi can communicate to the system. It's very long and in a lot of instances it will be able to cover whatever uh, location you're trying to install these devices in. So right here we have our PowerG smoke detector. It looks like any other smoke. Nothing really stands out that's going to tell us it's a PowerG. And right here we have our Qualsys IQ2 system. Now, PowerG devices, as they are encrypted, when they program to a system, they marry with that system. Meaning that until they're factory defaulted or until they're deleted from the system, you won't be able to them enroll them into another system. So if you're doing a system takeover or if somebody gave you some devices that they're not using anymore that you're going to program in, if you're finding that you're having some trouble program them, programming them to the system, do a factory default on the device and give it another shot and you may find that that resolves the issue. Program them, programming them into a system is as easy and simple as any other device. On our IQ2, first thing that we're going to do is scroll down from the top, click on settings, advanced settings, 2222, installation, devices, security sensors, and then auto learn sensor. So power G devices, not surprisingly, they do need their batteries installed to be able to uh, enroll them to the panel. They also have, or most of them have, a button called an enrollment button that we're going to have to hit to actually get them to learn into the system. So first I'm going to do is take the back plate off. It's going to beep. To stop this, I'm just going to pop the battery out and then put it back in. Clip that down we're good to go. This button right here on the side, that's the enrollment button for this particular device. So I take my screwdriver, I'm going to press that button until I see this LED turn on. Once I see that, I'm going to let go and we should get it to learn into the system. So let's take a look. There's the LED, I let go, and there's the sensor. To confirm, it says sensor 207182. If you look at this sticker right here on the bottom, that's the serial number of the sensor, 207182. This tells us that the system did hear this sensor and we're actually programming it in. Sometimes if you have lots of sensors up, especially motion detectors, somebody walks in front of one of those or it triggers, you could get the system to hear something else that isn't the sensor you're working on. Looking and comparing the serial number from the sensor that you're trying to learn in to what shows up on the screen just tells you that you actually have the right one in programming right now. So if I click OK, we're going to get to our sensor programming menu. Sensor type is a smoke detector. Sensor group is smoke and heat. Our sensor serial number or the DLID is correct and everything else works for us. If we did, we could change the sensor name, but I'm not too worried about that right now. After checking that all this is the way you want it, click Add New. That locks it into the system, and then you're good to go. The next thing that you want to do is do a test on your smoke detector before you install it to make sure it works, and you'll be all set. If you do have any questions, though, about installing PyRG devices, about the IQ2 or sensor programming, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be updated when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.